Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 4 of my 4 part series on designing professional and eye catching design in Canva. If you have not watched the previous episode yet, go check them out because today I am revealing the final secret number 4, how to use the blur effect in Canva to create a stunning depth just like Photoshop. Adding depth to your design instantly make it look more polished and professional. And with Canva's Blur tool, you don't need complex software to do it. In this video, I will show you exactly how to use background blur, element blur, image blur to bring focus to your main content and give your design a pro level aesthetic. Whether you are designing social media posts, thumbnail or presentation, adding a good blur can really make your visual pop. So this is Canva design piece. So right now I am having a banner design for a gym. So this design is already looking good. As you can see, we have already decreased the background transparency. So the focus is really good on the text and the image. But I will tell you that how exactly you can use the blur effect and create the depth effect just like Photoshop in Canva today. So let me duplicate this page first. Okay. So that after completing the tutorial, I will show you the difference between before and after. Okay. So let's start the work. So first, as you can see, the background is really good. But here I will apply the blur effect in the background so that it will give more pop out effect. It will look more professional and it will create more focus on our text and the image. So let's first select the background and we will go to edit. In edit, we will go to blur. And in blur, don't go for brush, select whole image and increase the intensity. But don't increase it this much because I want it look little bit visible to the people. Okay, so let's keep it 15 to 20. Okay, let's keep it 20. We'll go back and as you can see, we have applied the blur effect in the background. So first thing is done. Next, what we will do, as you can see, we are having a lot of uh, space on the corner. So we can add few things or element or image over there and create the blur effect there. So this is the design for a gym. So whenever you are using any image or element, make sure it is related to your page or design. So here we are designing for a gym. So whatever we are going to use the image or element that should be related to gym. Okay. So first what I will do as you can see, so the background is really plain on the bottom. So I will just add something over there. So let's go to element and we will write down dust and we will go to graphics in graphics. I will search for a dust element. So let's select this one. Okay. So as you can see this one, we are going to apply but first. What we will do, we will go to flip and flip it like this. Okay. So that is done. Next, just rotate it a little bit because this side, I want to make it visible more. Okay. Increase the size of it. Bring it to the bottom like this. Okay. Like this. So here it is. Now we will go to position and we'll go to arrange. We will bring it a little bit back to our text and the image. As you can see, it is behind everything almost. Okay. So we will go to transparency and decrease the transparency of it because I don't want to make it visible this much because it's not looking that much good. So decrease it. So it is like that before. So after adding it, let's skip it 35. Okay. That is done. So we have applied that graphics in the background. Okay. That is done. Next, what we will do, we will go and search for gradient circle. So let's select this one because this one allow you to change the color from here. Okay. So let's select the color of the page, whatever color is there. So let's select the yellow color. So I'm selecting the gradient circle because I just want to use that on this corner and this corner to create the balance and to create the gradient effect that will give your design a beautiful look okay so let's increase the size of it and we will bring it over here like this increase it bring it over here and go to position 
and bring it back to your logo okay like this next decrease the transparency a little bit because it is affecting the visibility of your logo so decrease the transparency like this let's keep it to 65 it is good enough next what we will do we will select the same and duplicate by pressing command and d i am using the mac os okay so let's bring it to this corner okay let's keep it over here so you can keep it like this also because it is not affecting the text and all it is already looking good we are keeping it in front of everything okay so this is also done next what we will do we will try to give the blur effect on these corners which i was talking about so as this is a design for a gym so we will add the image or element related to gym okay so suppose we can add the dumbbell we can add the plates okay but here i am using the rope okay because in gym rope is also used for cardio and all so we'll go to photos so let's find it so i think this one will be fine so let's select that one and we will first go to edit and apply the blur effect as i have told you always don't increase the intensity of blur this much so whenever you are applying the blur effect make sure it is little bit visible also so that people will understand that what exactly it is okay so right now you can see this is looking good enough so let's keep it to 40 okay and we will go back as you can see we have already applied the blur effect in the image so next we will adjust it in the corner okay so increase the size of it like this we can increase more like this okay so let's keep it over here next again we will duplicate it you can duplicate from here also again and just rotate it like this because we are going to use this one in this corner okay over here so let's bring it over here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna zoom it so that you can understand so let's increase the size of it a bit like this and uh, we can rotate it little bit and we will bring it over here but what i'm gonna show you that we can keep it over here but i'm keeping it in front of those alphabets but don't keep it like this like it will cover it up okay don't cover the alphabets because your audience will uh, not be able to read it perfectly okay so we will just touch little bit so that it will create the depth effect in your design okay like this i'm just touching you can see little bit of this alphabet and little bit the corner of this alphabet also so it is creating the depth effect in your design so after adding these things the design has been completed okay so if i will compare the design you can see this is before it was already good but if you want to add more depth and blur effect in your design you can use this technique and after doing that your design is looking like this okay and that's wrap up our four part canva design series if you found this helpful make sure to like the video subscribe for more canva tips tutorials and tricks and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload thanks for joining me on this series see you in the next one until then keep learning keep designing and keep growing